This video is about the mintage numbers for this coin, the Australian $1 coin. Everyone, of course, wants to know how many were produced each year so as to know which ones are common and which ones are scarce. I could just throw a lot of numbers at you and leave it at that, but I decided I would try to make this a little more interesting and demonstrate the numbers produced each year by stacking coins to represent each year's mintage. But straight out of the gate, I ran into a problem. You see, uh, stacking 186 coins on top of each other turned out to be a bigger challenge than I had expected. So, since my stacking abilities leave a lot to be desired, I'm just going to pour out 186 of these five cent coins and ask you to imagine that each one of them represents the production of one million one dollar coins that were minted in 1984. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm afraid that or similar happened a number of times before I started swearing and gave up. Anyway, this is what a pile of 186 coins representing 186 million coins looks like. Stay with me now, the mintage numbers are coming and this will all make sense in a few seconds. And here we have 96 coins representing the 96.2 million Mop of Roo coins that were produced by the Mint in 1985. Thankfully, after 1985, it got a lot easier to stack the coins. Now, let's look at this row of coins I set up and compare it to the number of coins minted in 1984 and 1985. This line of coins goes from 1986 to 2005 and you will no doubt notice immediately the mintage numbers are considerably less than the massive mintage of the Australian dollar coin in 1984 and 85 when it was first replacing the paper dollar note. Recapping, the original dollar coin in 1984 had 186 million coins as the mintage and the 1985 coin was 96.2 both of these coins having the most common reverse of a mob of roots. In 1986, the mintage dropped to 25.2, and then in 1987, there was no mintage at all. 1988, it was uh, 21.2 million, so fairly similar. No dollar coins were minted from 1989 to 1991, but in 1992, the mint claims to have produced 8,000 $1 coins. The thing is, Nobody has ever found one. I wonder if you could be the first. 1993, Landcare, 18.6 million. 1994, Mob of Ruse, 47.6 million. 1995, Mob of Ruse, 21.4 million. 1996, Henry Park Centenary, 26.6 million. 1997, Sir Charles Kingsford Smith, 24.4 million. 1998, Mob of Ruse, 16.2 million. 1999, Year of the Older Person, 29.3 million. In the year 2000, we had a Mob of Ruse and the mintage was a very low 7 million. 592,000. In 2001, we had the Centenary of Federation with a mintage of 27.9 million. But in 2001, the Mint also released an additional coin to celebrate the International Year of the Volunteer with a low mintage of 6 million coins. Then in 2002, it was the Year of the Outback with the Mint releasing a whopping 34.2 million of them. In 2003, the Mint decided to celebrate the Australian Volunteer again with a release of 4.149 million coins. And in addition, in 2003, it also released the Centenary of Women's Suffrage coin for the mintage of just over 10 million coins. In 2004, we get another mob of ruse with a mintage of 8.8 .8 million this time. In 2005, we get yet another mob of ruse, but this time with a slightly lower mintage of 5.8 million. And in addition, 2005 also sees the release of the much-loved Dancing Man, 
as he celebrates the anniversary of the end of World War II with a substantial mintage of 31.8 million coins. We're on to the second row of coins now, and as you can see, there's some really low mintage years in this lot. So let's get cracking and look at them closely. Clearly, 2006 wasn't a low mintage year, with a whopping 38.9 million coins produced. The APEC coin commemorating Australia hosting of the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum with a mintage of 20.1 million coins. 2008 was another big year for the five kangaroo coin with a mintage of 30.1 million. The scouting coin commemorating 100 years of scouting in Australia with a mintage of 17.2 million. In 2009, we see the 100th year of the age pension. What an achievement, Australia with a mintage of 21.3 million coins, followed up in the same year by another mob of ruse coin, with a mintage of 21.2 million. 2010 starts off with another mob of ruse coin, this time with a mintage of 16.7. Also in 2010, the girl guides get a look in, with their coin coming in with a mintage of 12.6 million coins. In 2011, Perth, Australia hosted Chogham, commemorating the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. This coin having a fairly low mintage of 9.4 million. There were no coins produced in 2012, but in 2013, 20.9 million mob of brew coins were produced. 2014 is a controversial year in regarding to the mintage of the 2014 mob of Roos coin. Some sources indicate it was 1,052,000 coins. Others say it was 6.2. I would be really interested to know what the consensus is on this matter. First of the Anzac dollar coins was also produced in 2014 with a large mintage of 21.9 million. But in 2015, the next Anzac coin had a tiny mintage of only 1.4 million. But don't worry, the 2015 Mob of Ruse coin made up the numbers with a mintage of 22.3 million in 2016 we have another big year for the kangaroo coin with 30.2 million of these coins produced but 2016 had a lot more installed for us collectors than a bunch of kangaroo coins it also saw the release of the changeover coin perhaps the most sought after circulated coin that can be found in your pocket change this coin celebrates 50 years of Australian decimal currency and has a tiny mintage of 560,000 coins. Another Anzac coin was produced in 2016 also, with a relatively low mintage of 2.19 million, a little higher than the 2017 Anzac, which has an even lower mintage of 1.9 million. The 2017 Mob of Roos coin came in with a mintage of 11.1 million. The 2018 Anzac coin also had a low mintage of 1.9 million. With 8.3 million Mob of Roos coins rounding off 2018. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.